In this little video clip we're going to look at tying in a wet fly hackle or a soft hackle and it's done slightly differently to the way you would normally tie in a dry fly hackle. For starters the feather fibers are much softer and you want them bent backwards over the hook to be mobile but you don't want to stop the fly sinking which is the exact opposite of what you want on a dry fly. And most soft hackles come from body feathers. This is actually an Indian hen hackle. They come from body feathers that have a relatively thick stalk. So you don't want to tie them in like this as you do with a dry fly hackle because it tends to be very bulky. So you strip off the flue that you don't want, reverse the fibers by gently stroking them backwards like that, and just clip out the very tip of the feather. Tie that in by the point so it's tied in the opposite way around to what one would do with a dry fly hackle. It's tied in by the tip of the feather. Attach your hackle pliers. Make one wrap like that and stroke those fibers out the way. If you want to, let's hit the camera again make a second wrap, stroke those fibers out the way and catch in the hackle. Whoopsie. Soft hackle flies are not supposed to be particularly heavily dressed. You rarely need more than two wraps of feather fiber or of hackle fiber. Stroke the hair, stroke the hackle fibers backwards Form a neat finish. Again, we're using orange thread so you can see it. Whip finish in front of the fly. Whoops. That wasn't very clever. And there you have a typical soft hackle pattern. Sparse, very mobile, and once you get the hang of it, not too difficult to tie in at all. If you're going to finish off the fly, we put a drop of varnish on the head. But there it is. Soft tackle, basic soft tackle for a wet fly.